Honorable Meshwe Lekatsola Pelere. House Chairperson, Honorable President and members, on the 25th of May, 2019, President Ramaphosa delivered a speech that reverberated for months throughout the country. He said, and I quote, I am humbled by the trust you have bestowed upon me, aware of the challenges our country faces, but also alive to the fact that our people are filled with hope for a better tomorrow. Indeed, Chairperson, the majority of South Africans trusted the president and were filled with hope for a better tomorrow. But alas, that hope was short-lived. The allegations of corruption, money laundering, racketeering, defeating the ends of justice against the president have left many devastated and deeply disappointed. Rather than taking responsibility for breaking the law of this country, the president maintains that his hands are clean and his integrity is intact. Chairperson, the president cannot continue evading critical questions that have resulted from what happened at this Palapala Pala game farm. These questions that demand answers include the following. Firstly, what, why did the president keep foreign currency to the value of 4 million US dollars at his farm while knowing that it is illegal to do so? Secondly, who brought the foreign currency on the farm and was it cleared with customs when it was brought onto the farm? And thirdly, why was the breaking and theft of that foreign currency that was found hidden in the furniture not reported to the police? Fourthly, if that money came from sales of animals of the farm, oh, yeah. as some have alleged, has tax been paid on those sales? And fifthly, is it true, Mr. President, that a person, domestic worker who worked there was bribed, allegedly tortured even, to ensure that she does not talk about what has happened on the farm. We want to know. While I know that justice must take its course and a full independent inquiry has to invest, investigate these serious allegations, much will have to be done to restore the nation's trust and confidence in the president. I urge Mr. President, to be transparent and not to try and make excuses or hide any truth. To the President, I directly want to say, sir, please do not allow this Palapala Pala incident to be part of your legacy. Where there is fault, you need to repent and make right, not only as head of state, but also because you are responsible before God. I want to remind you further, Mr. President, that King Solomon once said, Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. I wish you you do that. Thank you, sir.